All right, so we cut from there to Burnham and Tilly's quarters. Spock comments that unlike Tilly, whose side of the room was littered with mementos and knickknacks, Burnham has no individual expression whatsoever, calling it a accomplishment to be uniquely mundane. Burnham replies that she prefers to express herself through her work and not her choice of decor <laughs> as she whips out a three-dimensional chessboard. Spock is incredulous. He's attempting to ascertain why the Red Angel chose him to expose a threat to the entire galaxy, and Burnham's solution is to play chess. Spock considers it arrogant for Burnham to assert that his present manner of thinking needed fixing at all. Burnham jabs back, saying it was arrogant for him to assert that it didn't. Arium reviews files from the Spheres database in the science lab when Security Chief Non enters, saying that Tilly had been looking for her and asking what she was doing. Arium replies that she is looking for something to aid in the decryption, as even with all the benefits of her augmentation, it did not have infinite storage capacity. Arium then asks about non species, the Barzan and their cybernetics that allowed them to breathe Earth-equivalent atmosphere on board most Federation ships. And then Nan's kind of like, uh, so uh, why do you want to know that? Because <laughs> <laughs> uh. if anybody asked me about, like, hey, so how hard would it be to get you to, you know, suffocate in normal air conditions? I'd be like, um, why don't you stay on that side of the room? No, it's business. impossible. You can't do it. Yeah, it's, it's it impossible. Can't, can't be done. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> Returning to her work, the lights flash in Arium's eyes again, and she abruptly returns to the bridge. Tilly runs over to her and says that whatever Arium has done to start cracking the code before is no longer working, as it appears the system knew what they were trying to crack in it, and it began to change its tactics, which is impossible because it's an automated system, not an AI. See, they, they, they went too far beyond the SQL injections, and now it's, it's gotten smart on them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, given the way that they describe control, it is 100% an AI. Mm -hmm. And I'm not exactly sure how they could say otherwise. I don't know if everybody's aware of that yet, though. I can't remember. Yeah, I feel like Leland kind of explains a bit about control. Either he has already or we haven't seen it yet. I'm thinking we haven't seen it yet, but he does get into how it all works with helping them basically do their job. So maybe you're right. Maybe they maybe people don't know about it yet. I think we're a little early in the in the yeah. process there, yeah. So Arium asks Tilly to stand with her and not to move until they solve this mystery. Tilly's confused but goes along with it. <laughs> 